Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tenth Isle Gaming. This is Tenth Isle here, and we are back in Boundless. There was a humongous patch in Boundless uh, terms, anyway. It was uh, about a hundred megs, something, something like that. And uh, if we're being real, this is the first time I've seen this dude since the beginning. It's kind of cool. Let's. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Dare we go to Elapore? Dare we? It says, warning, dangerous world. I think we're actually going to not. And we're going to go over here. <laughs> but I don't know what's going to happen. Go ahead and switch our... Wild. Ooh. We can go home. Oh, okay. That's neat. We could just warp right there. Have I always been able to do this? I don't I don't even know. I think I have enough that it yeah, let's just warp right there. I never really use the warping, so alright, we're home. Look at that. Leveled up. One land plot, five skill points. So let's take a look at some of the stuff here. Because it has definitely changed. So inventory looks about the same. Handcraft looks fine. We don't have a lot of friends on here. Hey, you guys want to be a, <laughs> a friend for me? Uh, on here in Boundless, totally hit me up in game and we could totally hang out and explore caves and you know, all that cool stuff. It's an interesting build. I just got an objective. Notable build complete. Huh. Getting a bunch of stuff. Oh, there we go. So let's tab. We'll go look at uh, character. This is all new to me. I did not previously look at the test release. So this is like huge for me right now. Looking at this stuff on my own. So core attributes. Uh, health is at 600. Stamina is actually... I don't have any. That's, that's no good. But looks like we have agility, dexterity, intelligence, power... Control, energy, luck, and vitality. So this is like a proper RPG now. This is fantastic. Uh, I got health regen, run speed, sprint speed, action speed modifier, block place speed modifier. Oh, that's re that's kind of neat. Throwing speed, status effect duration modifier, stamina regen, damage modifier, healing modifier, critical chance, drop rate modifier, building range. That is super cool. Then we have mastery, axe mastery, chisel, hammer, shovel, bomb? Bomb? Really? Uh, grapple, lance, sling bow. What is a lance? Is a lance what I think? Is that what I think it is? That sounds sweet. Uh, resistances, so all different type of resistance, projectile, melee. Uh, the whole way down to, to chill and burn. Wow, there's some elemental stuff in here. Corrosion, that's that's pretty sweet. And then some projectile stuff. Same, same. that's kind of neat. Exploration. Uh, compass range modifier, light source intensity, warp distance. That's kind of cool. Uh, jump height, one meter. T -t 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 -t. Revive time, 12 seconds. That's an interesting thing. Stealth modifier, threat modifier. Shout range. I guess that's probably how far we can actually talk to people. In that, in that proximity, that's kind of cool. Uh, double jump height, one meter. Death penalty modifier, zero percent. Oh man, there's some, there's some depth here. Uh, let's look at atmosphere. Uh, corrosion, armor, toxin, atmosphere, armor, burn, atmosphere, armor, and all this. Stuff. That's really cool stuff. Holy crap. That's incredible. Just uh, tighten these up here. That's some incredible stuff. So I really... I really like... The, oh, I can actually see how many coins I have for once. Sweet. <laughs> I never remember uh, how, to, how to check this and everything's all organized now. So I have quite a bit uh, from, from building stuff. But we actually have a level now, so that's really cool. And we're already to level two. Neat. Very neat. I like uh, I like the way this looks too. So let's look at skills. Whoa! So five out of the six 
activated. So basic crafting, uh, compass, scanner, ability to see more information about objects and resources. Creep removes the ability to creep. Sprint. Clan membership unlocks the ability to join a clan. Requires five skill points. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even see it. I have 49 skill points available. Oh, boy. Well, let's go ahead and just unlock that one. Get the, the six core ones. And let's look at some of these other attributes. We have 44 more to go. So we have vitality, power. That's kind of neat. Control increases your control. Throwing distance, that's kind of neat. Dexterity increases your swing speed. That's pretty cool. Agility, your movement speed. Intelligence increases your healing potency. Oh, that could come into play. Luck increases the chance of an item being dropped. That's kind of cool. I like that. Energy increases your maximum stamina. I think we're going to need that. Increase all attributes by two. That's kind of cool, too. And these have their various levels. Oh, that's re Oh, my goodness. Look at how deep that goes. Oh, wow. So we got item crafting. We have common items with the machine. So we probably want to be careful about how we select some of this stuff. We're going to actually have to think about each each one of these picks, I think, as we go forward here. Exploration, I think we already have a couple. Inventory space. Shout range. So you can increase your shout range. And that's, that's really neat. Combat mastery, we could up our stuff right here. We're This is like all stuff I'm already thinking of. Like, I need to really, really think about. Wow, survival. And all this stuff is, is locked right now? Requires four, 30 activated skills. Oh, wow. That's an interesting way to display that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put a couple things in here uh, just right off the bat. Um, wow, these are all five skill points. I'm thinking I'm going to need that, so we'll confirm that. Luck, I don't think we're going to need right off the bat. Healing potency, maybe eventually. Movement speed, yes. So I only have 34 left, so this is going to be really tough. Swing speed, I'm okay with that for now. Let's look at some of these other ones. Item crafting. Common recipes. Wow, 10 skill points. Oh boy, yeah, let's just go for that. Uh, common prop recipes unlock ability to craft common prop. Uh, on block recipes. Wow, so these are. Man. Increase hammer mastery. Yeah, we're going to be using that a lot. We only have 19 left. Wow, we're st we're trying to start out here. Endurance. I didn't even look at endurance yet. Uh, health regen. Oh wow, this is getting very very cool. Projectile resistance. Wow, we really are gonna have to think about some of these here. Cause they go the whole way down. Cause we just unlocked that, so we can actually probably let's let's go with some stamina regen. There's some things I know I'm gonna need. And I, I guess we're going to really, again, I, I hate to keep repeating myself, but we're going to have to really think about some of these. 14 skill points left. Let's get all these skill points and, and see what we end up with here. Lance. You're yeah, probably going to need Sling Bow. Bomb I think I'm okay without. Uh, exploration stuff. Wow. That's pretty neat stuff. I like that. So let's look at some of these projectile defense. That's kind of cool. Melee defense. Let's go back up here to tool mastery. Or even some of these other ones. We don't have 10 left. Oh boy. Shovel. We might need some shovel stuff. Axe. Grapple maybe. Chisel mastery. Effective with grapple. That is probably a thing. I tend to like to grapple. Actually, I don't use a whole bunch. 
Anything in exploration that seemed like really interesting and cool? Ah, oh, there we go. Equipment crafting. Wow. Bulk crafting. Tax reduction. Whoa. Reduce the amount of tax you pay for items sold at 10%. <laughs> oh my goodness. Full economy in here. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, uh, these are all 10 skill points. Whoa. That's... That's interesting. And we do have a cleanse point available. I'm not, not sure quite how that works, but that does sound very neat. Let's go ahead and... I'm guessing we probably want one of these simpler ones here. Do we have enough? I only have four skill points, so I don't think I have enough at this time. Yeah, these are all five. All right, well, that that's all we can get. We got down to four. That's pretty cool. Neat. So I like how everything looks. Oh, objectives. This is this is definitely... Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. My bad. Objectives. This is definitely different. So we can add... We currently have zero objectives. Please add one more. So we can add... Hunting creatures. Oh, wow. So we can go ahead and... So we have to acquire a sling bow and then... Yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. It's right over here in the in the corner. I like that. That's kind of cool. Oh. We can see stuff about different locations, settlements, uh, beacons, worlds. That's cool. I like that. So and everything else looks... Oh, we can change our character mod? Hold on. Is that is that a serious thing? Not active yet? Oh my gosh, hold on. No, it's changing. Oh, look at him. Oh, that looks good. I like okay, I'm going with that one. Well, this looks just fantastic. So there are big changes in Boundless, you might say. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little walkthrough of these changes. We'll be playing this game again soon, so be prepared for that. It, it may be a little bit of a different experience for everyone in Boundless. It looks like we still have our, all our plots and, and, and our money and all that stuff. So that's good and hasn't been a world wipe. So that is fantastic because we're just starting a build over on Elipore. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye.